Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and today we are going to do a comparison of the UAP AC light against the new Unify 6 light access point. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that little bell so that you know when I release some new content. So in the interest of full disclosure, this item was purchased with our own funds. Actually, it was a Christmas gift from my lovely wife, Lisa. That being said, let's get over to the computer and get started with today's video. Welcome to a brand new year and happy new year to all of you. I hope this is a better year for all of us. I'm going to start off 2021 by comparing the UAP AC light to the brand new Unify 6 light access point. Now, this isn't going to be an unboxing video or anything like that. We're going to do a straight head to head physical comparison. Then we're going to do a head to head comparison of the actual specs of the two units. Then we'll do a couple of iPerf tests and a couple of speed tests. So if you're into that, then stay tuned and let's get started with the physical head to head comparison. So looking at the physical head to head, you can see the two units are just about the same size. Here's the new Unify light and here's the UAP AC light. You can see they both have the Ubiquiti logo on the top. Underneath the Ubiquiti logo on the new unit, it does say Unify 6. I know you probably can't see that. Now, if I flip the units over, you can see the backs are almost identical. They both have an Ethernet port, a gigabit Ethernet port. And like I said, they both look identical. They use the same mounting bracket. So if I put the bracket inside of the new unit, you can see it fits in there. And if I put it here, Inside the UAP AC light, you can see it fits there as well. So that's a nice feature. Now, if I hold the units up side by side, again, you can see they are both literally the same size. And there you go, right? So that being said, though, one major difference is the weight factor. The weight of the new Unify 6 light is considerably heavier than that of the UAP AC light. And that's pretty much it for the physical side by side comparison. That being said, let's get over to the comparison of the actual specs of each unit. Okay, so I've put the specs side by side for you on the same page. I've also highlighted the differences in red so that it's easier for you to see. In fact, we're only going to focus on what's different between the two units. First, starting off, you can see the price point for the Unify 6 Lite is $99 and the UAP AC light is $89. Now, what are you getting for that difference in price? Well, the first noticeable difference is under Wi-Fi standard, you can see that the new unit supports Wi-Fi 6. If you jump down to the five gigahertz speed, you can see that the Unify 6 light supports up to 1201 megabits per second, as opposed to 867 for the Unify AC light. Next, under PoE mode, the new Unify 6 light only supports 802.3AF PoE, whereas the UAP AC light supports both 802.3AF and 24 volt passive PoE. Looking at MIMO, both units support 2x2 MIMO, although the Unify 6 light supports multi-user MIMO in the 5 GHz band. Next, we have maximum transmission power, and you can see it's slightly higher on the Unify 6 light. Looking at the maximum antenna gain, you can see there's a slight difference on the Unify 6 light. Maximum power consumption, 6.5 watts on the UAP AC light versus 12 watts on the new unit. Operating temperatures also vary. You can see that the Unify 6 light can support much colder temperatures with a range of minus 22 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, as opposed to 14 degrees to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. The Unify 6 light can support 300 plus clients as opposed to 250 for the UAP AC light. Under dimensions, you can see there's a slight difference, but they are virtually the same physical form factor. And under weight here, you can see the considerable difference. And I was saying earlier when I was doing the side by side physical comparison that the Unify 6 light is considerably heavier. And you can see here 170 grams versus 300 grams is a considerable difference, almost double. So I hope this side-by-side -side comparison gives you a better idea of the differences in the specs between the two units. Okay, so now let's get on with some testing. 
I'm going to be running an iPerf client on my iPhone 11, which is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. And I'm going to run the iPerf server on my iMac, which is hardwired. That being said, I'm going to test first on the UAP AC light, and then I'm going to test on the Unify 6 light. I'll be doing an iPerf test and a speed test, and we can compare the results. Okay, so you can see on my screen, I have the iPerf server running on my iMac, listening on port 5201. And on my iPhone screen, you can see that I have the iPerf client. Now I'm gonna first run an upload test and let's see what those results are. Okay, so on average, we got 308 megabits per second on the upload. Let's run a download speed now from the server. And we have 282 megabits per second on the download. Now let's jump over and run a speed test. I'm going to use speedtest.net. And I like to use a server in my area called Sand Hill Telephone Communications. Let's go ahead and start the speed test. So the speed test results are showing 280 megabits per second down and 164 megabits per second up. Now give me a second. I'm going to disconnect the UAP AC light and connect the Unify 6 light. And we're going to run the same test and do a comparison on the results. Okay, so now I'm connected to the Unify 6 light. We're going to run the same series of tests. I'm going to start with the upload to the iPerf server. Let's get started now. Okay, so we're looking at 433 megabits per second on the upload. Let's run the download test now. And we're looking on average on the download test of 383 megabits per second. Let's jump back over to speedtest.net. And we're going to run the same test. I'm going to choose the same server as I did before. And on the speed test, we're looking at 400 megabits per second down and 279 megabits per second up. I'm going to run that speed test one more time. And the second time around, we got similar results, 402 megabits down and 253 megabits per second up. So looking at the side-by-side -side test results, you can see that the Unify light considerably outperformed the UAP AC light in both the iPerf test and the speed test. Now, I did do an extra speed test when I was testing the Unify 6 light, so I just took the average of both tests to arrive at these numbers. As a side note, I am paying for 500 down and 500 up for internet service. And I want you to know that I had both access points set up exactly the same, whereas the channel and the power settings were all set to auto. This way we can compare apples to apples. So there you have a side-by-side -side comparison of the UAP AC light versus the Unify 6 light Wi-Fi 6 access point. 
So what do you think? Do you have any experience with the new Unify Wi-Fi 6 access points? If you do, put any comments you have down in the video description below. So if you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos I have posted up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. And thank you once again for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.